I can't believe we're standing in front of these doors right now. Me neither. It's awesome. Yep. Next in the tank is a tool to ensure you get a juicy bird every time. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Kirk. And we're here from the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Canton, Ohio. We're here seeking $100,000 for a 10% stake in our company. Sharks, have you ever cooked a chicken that was so dry it was barely edible? Or served a turkey at Thanksgiving that was so parched your guests wanted to offer it a drink? Well, that's why we created the, the Turbo, Turbo Trusser. The Turbo Trusser is a rapid trussing device used when cooking whole chickens and turkeys. Trussing is a technique that Trusting is a technique that keeps the wings, keeps the wings and legs, close, and legs to close to the body <laughs> and cooks a bird more evenly. Good save. Traditionally, this is done with butcher's twine, which is messy and hard to work with. And this is for the birds. <laughs> but with the turbo trusser, <laughs> keeping your dinner nice and juicy is a breeze. Just hook the turbo trusser right in the place. Closing up the cavity and sealing all the juices to cook a perfect bird. Check out these incredible results. Ooh. Oh. Sharks, you'll get a delicious, juicy chicken or turkey every time. And this product is so universal, you can use it in ovens, grills, smokers, roasters, rotisseries, deep fryers, and heck, even air fryers. And best of all, it's made of food-grade stainless steel and it's dishwasher safe. And it's made right here in the good old USA. So, which one of you sharks wants to take a bite out of the poultry industry and, and make, make a, a cluckload cluck of money? money? <laughs> oh, ding, ding. All right. So, oh, man. I, I, look, look, at a million dollar valuation, you got Brian Kirk. I hope you got some sales. And if you got those sales, I think you're going to just go right in to getting yourself a deal. Uh, neat idea. I guess nobody else has done it this way before. Uh, I personally have never cooked a bird. Um, it, it's not, I, I think my wife's only done it like once. Or, or twice ever um yeah it's not it's not something that we we do here at the house but um you know i i definitely could see the use and if the price isn't too bad i could see you selling a whole lot and uh and, and all that and i do you know i i never um i never really used to think about things like this but i was watching uh call me chris and and she got uh roasted by the uh the, the vegan teacher i think it is uh, I, I hope to not get to get that done here. Uh, I'm all for my, my vegan friends uh, and and vegetarian friends and and all that. I, just, I think it's uh, I, I think it's, it's everybody's free to have their own choices in, in what they uh, what they eat. But I think it's uh, look if if it work again if it works valuation's good. I think you got yourselves a, a winner on your hands. Uh, for people who are are cooking birds on the on the regular or you know once a year sharks on your table you have samples of our two versions one's a chicken turbo trusser and one is made for turkeys and then you also have some uh chicken that was cooked with the turbo trusser today kevin we'd love to have you come up go ahead and try it out so you've got a chef to. hat you know it's i multiple have chef that's you know right that. and of this course we've got the apron it is very good <laughs> it's good Okay, you would just pick the, the turbo trusser up yeah. and set it in the butt there. Okay, you set it in the butt. Set it in the butt and then okay. lift butt one cavity. leg up. Yep. Oh, there we go. Lift one leg up and put it in. Lift it's the other just leg up. that easy. It's just that easy. Good. And the other side, do the same. What is the chicken community saying about this torture device? Uh, they really like it. We, <laughs> we've sold uh, about 11,000 units and had one return. Oh. Whoa. Very nice. People really love it. You don't have to get your hands all messy when you're using butcher's twine. How much of this delicious juiciness is because of this or the way you cooked it in that particular it's oven? because of the turbo trusser. That's what trussing does. It, it cooks it so you're cooking one piece of meat instead of five. So it's going to cook more evenly. I don't cook, so I'm learning so much. Does everybody do this? You know what? I think a lot of people do, but I think people are one afraid to do it with twine because it's it's intimidating oh you yeah don't know like how if to you do tell it. me to tie up a dead chicken i'd be yeah. like you gotta could... normally gotta go online watch a five or ten minute video so guys, so guys how did you get here you know how did you get yeah, in chicken suits story. on shark tank <laughs> on the carpet for the last 18 years i've been working in the pharmaceutical industry i've worked for three of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world 
but Kirk and I, we met about five or six years ago. He was renovating my house. Kirk. Yeah, Kirk. I was a contractor for 20 years. I went to culinary school back in the early 90s. I was a sous chef in a, in a couple uh, big banquet kitchens and country clubs, but I got burnt out, and that's how I got into contracting. As a contractor, I found a problem with uh, straight shutoff valves. I invented a wrench that has over 800 positions, and I have uh, two utility patents and I think five design patents on it, and I ended up licensing it. And then Brian's like, I want to start inventing too. This is really cool. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, We're going to invent our right? way into chicken suits, right? We've invented personally together six products, four in the barbecue industry, two in the pet industry, and then he's got a wrench. Before this product, did you make any money? Not on a the dime. Other? No. <laughs> no. Not a dime. No. But you know, oh. <laughs> Let's get back to this product for a second. All right. So that a uh, great story. Uh, you know, having uh, having the desire to want to create things. I mean, I hope that a lot of the people that are watching Shark Tank, watching this channel, uh, are inspired to want to go and create things, whether it's a business, a service-based business, uh, a, a brick-and-mortar business, uh, an online-based business, like whatever it is, just sharing your passion uh, with with the world, I, I think is is so important for us to get like that light that's inside of us out, and for, for other people to to share in that um, is it's just it it makes life so much different um, than if you just trudge through it uh, and and just kind of dreading every day what you're doing, where you're headed, um, and not really knowing like you know fe just feeling like you're just kind of like floating through life and and that's that's terrible and look i i'm all for people that do, that feel that they want to work in you know uh, a, a nine to five or or whatever eight to five or even 18 hours a day if they have to 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 be able to uh provide for their family provide for themselves uh provide for their community i you know i, I think that there's lots of ways to go about it as long as you're fulfilled by it and it's it's fulfilling the needs uh of the people that you support like that's that's really what's important so um I, you know it's more power to them for for creating this and and going from you know, creating lots of products. I know all about, you know, creating products, creating businesses that just ultimately don't go where you want them to go. You think they could blow up or, or get big. Um, but ultimately you, you just, you just don't get the enthusiasm from people that you're looking for and it gets discouraging. And then you start to pivot or change. And then people like start questioning things, but Hey, if you call yourself an inventor, like, Hey, you can invent lots of things. Now, uh, it was not that long ago. Uh, you know, the, uh, where what well, was it? Uh, Tate, I think was, was told like, Oh, I don't want to, somebody was told like, I don't want to work with inventors. They just always move on to the next thing. It's like, yeah, cause they have so many ideas and it's not that it's not that they um, can't sell those ideas, but maybe they're just not good enough ideas or they're ahead of their time or they're in the past. Like these ideas are just, you know, it, it, this would have been a great idea 20 years ago, but now things have changed. The world's moved on. And it's just not going to be that that thing that you wanted it to be. So, uh, you know, more power to you guys, Brian and Kirk, going and, and, and following those passions and getting in chicken suit or turkey suits and, and chicken suits here. How much does it cost? How much do you make it for? How many of you sold? So right now it costs, well, on our last order, it was $3.07 to make. MSRP is $14.99. And how many of you sold in dollars? $90,000 in sales, so we've been in business for eight and a half months. 60% okay. of our sales come from our website alone. 27% of our sales go through distributors. We have three distributors. We're in 75 stores now. Oh, you are? And how yep. is it selling? Is it selling through? Yep, selling through. All three of our distributors have reordered our Amazon. We have somebody that's selling on Amazon for us now. He's reordered three times. Uh, Brian, I love you guys. I love this thing. I know nothing about it. It's just not big enough for me. Don't chicken out. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. I appreciate Brian, it. Brian, how would I make? You know, I, the the thing that stands out to me is is they have a distributor selling through Amazon, but like, why would you not just sell through yourself through Amazon? Like, it's not like it's hard. You could even pay, you know, FBA uh, fulfilled by Amazon to do it for you, so you don't, you know, you're just fulfilling. Like uh, when I talked to Tate from Pizza Pack and uh, Cheese Chopper just last night, you know, he he spent six days just pumping orders to Amazon so they could fulfill their two-day shipping and uh, all across the country. So 
it, you know, I don't, I mean, I, it's a, it is a lot of work and obviously, uh, I, I'm guessing they, they still are working their jobs, but, uh, this is, you know, this has the potential to be big and, and heading into, you know, Thanksgiving, the biggest Turkey day of the year, love it or hate it. Uh, this is, this is the world that we, we have. I'm speaking to you, uh, <laughs> vegan teacher. Uh, it's, it's, um, you know, the sales are just bound to go through the roof, and especially at a at a fifteen dollar price point, like it, it, this, it's a no brainer. If you're going to cook, if you're going to do that, I, it, this just makes sense. Why why go through all the hassle, the, the twine, and the yeah? No, nah, I mean I I'm not doing that even if I was cooking it. Why do you want to do like this? It seems like a little business, a little bit of sales. It doesn't seem like there's room for a third person by any means. Barbara, that's a great question. There's 87 million turkeys are consumed just between the three holidays of Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas. We're not online marketing experts, right? So we're looking for somebody that can help us with some marketing, get us some social media exposure. But guys, look, it's hard to connect your product to all those turkeys and chickens. I, I just don't see you being able to scale, which makes it really difficult as an investor. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you very much for your time. So uh, I, I disagree. You do an infomercial type of thing. I, you know, I think, you know, it's like this is the comparison, right? We're doing the one with the string, one without anything, one without with string uh, in showing the process, and then one, you know, with yours. And and boom, like it, it to me, if I'm doing it all the time, like it's selling itself. It, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't think it's that, um, and it's not a huge price point. Like, it's not like you're asking people for fifty dollars or something. I mean, if you're if you're buying chicken or turkeys, like it, that's not necessarily cheap either. So it's not really investable for me. It's not big enough, and I really hate touching chicken. Um, so I just have to be honest about it. <laughs> and for those reasons, I am out. But I think you'll do really well. We appreciate that Thank feedback, you. Brian. It's not a big enough business for an investor to make oh, money. Oh, come on. If uh, Barbara, yeah, wait, wait, Barbara, hold on a second. Time out. You have invested in like a kid's dog biscuit company. I don't recall the name. Please. Well, what's, what's big enough? You're, it's $100,000 for 10%. You get to take a ride uh, and you get to, to do something that's uh, kind of out there. I mean, I'm, I'm 82% profit. There's definitely enough uh, meat on the bone, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and I, feel, I smell a royalty deal if Kevin can get on board. Brian, you've got you've got one turkey left. It's a big turkey. You know, guys, I look at this and I see the potential of it, but it's so much work. We don't want you guys to do the work for us. We're going to do the work. Yeah. Listen, we're here. We won't let you down. We just need I mean, you to imagine see if Chef Wonderful took this under his wing. We would love uh, to have here it comes 33% of the royalty free. deal. He's an expensive chef. I mean, I mean, I wish you had a model already put out there where I just had to pour gasoline on it. Maybe they it was do. They have a product here you can sell. So I have to don my whites. I have to be Chef Wonderful. I have to sell a lot of these to make any money. Um, I mean, I... Uh, we're flexible on, on our equity. We're here to make a deal. Yep. Yes, I know that. God, this is a royalty <laughs> deal. I'm, I oh, can't believe you're not mentioning that. Deal. The question is how much. I mean, how... <laughs> to get Chef Wonderful to back this, and he's greedy, the only way I would do this, I'll give you the 100000 I want 33%, but wait, there's more. Yep. I want a dollar royalty yep. in perpetuity for everyone we sell. All right, I, I swear, I promise you, I did not watch this before we aired. Uh, yeah, 33% with a dollar. I actually was kind of thinking in the back of my mind, he might want to go $2 on it uh, just just till, you know, he gets his money back or something for on this $100,000, but there you go. Wow. Greedy bastard. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dude, we appreciate that offer. Would you do that deal for 20% in a no, $1 royalty? No. No. Kevin. I want to be the third chicken. I see this as being something I can really get to town on, but I've got to make it worth my while. I have to wet my beak. We know it. 25%? Look, let's let's be honest with each other. Your, your other inventions were, well, dogs. We don't want that to happen here, and I don't let dogs on my watch, okay? I think I can make this make money for all of us. I want to be the third chicken. That's very reasonable, I think. Give it a dollar, and when you wholesale this, guys, you're not going to have all that much left. Right, I know. Exactly. Unless you get the price really I, well, way down. make them an offer. You have one right? offer. Is anybody else would like to come back in? 
May I remind you to something else? Bertello Pizza Oven, the largest selling direct to consumer pizza oven in America. C'est moi, Chef Wonderful. Could you do the 33% without the without the dollar a unit? Never going to happen. Oh, guys, this guy's a bottom fisher. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it, guys. Yeah, I know. Um, 30%. No. Oh, um, man, look at this. You can walk away, guys. This is a lot of work, this deal. And I'm the only one to do it with you. So there's a price. I give you an offer. You have to make a decision. Come on. Re just offer the, re the restructure. Offer the restructure on the on the perpetuity, right? Like a dollar till he recoups his 100000 then drop it down to like 50 cents or something like that. And he keeps his 33% and, and go from there. You got a deal. Winner, winner. All right. Do the turkeys in this house. Come on. Appreciate you. Great very much. Congrats, guys. Let's Shark go. The, the things dreams are made of. We appreciate it. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We couldn't walk away from a deal with Chef Wonderful. There is no opportunity greater than to have a shark on your team, royalty or not. We're gonna make a cluckload of money. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they just, we're dying to wait. You know, I'm glad they they didn't forget to to have that in there, in there uh, with them. But yeah, so uh, here's their website. Watch it on uh, Shark Tank. They're showing you right there in the video how to go about using it. Uh, which is, you know, it, it can go uh, both ways. Uh, I like seeing people faces are great as well, usually to see, but, uh, yeah, they got the chicken and the turkey 1349, or you get both for 2698. Get that, get that upgrade there. Uh, and I guess it, I'm assuming it comes with two. Uh, so you, I, do you need two of them to do the turkey? And so you, is it just one that that's that's something i didn't i guess you oh well see because it, oh because the hooks go in towards the front and pull it okay wow okay so i i wasn't quite sure how that uh how that worked but uh but yeah all right so let's check out their instagram they got 856 uh followers yeah definitely not um social media marketers but they got a lot of a lot of uh engagement down down here on some of these posts i wonder if they were uh ads at some point uh you got tiktok 770 followers that's not not too shabby you know posting on the on the tiktok uh youtube 99 subscribers but they got yeah, some of these videos, I wonder if they were uh, ads that they ran. And then here on Facebook, they have uh, 5,600 likes, 5,800 followers, and a little bit of engagement going, which isn't which isn't too shabby uh, to see. So anyway, uh, Brian Kirk, I'd love to have you come here on the channel. Just drop a comment down below. I like this one from Ty that said, uh, great content as usual, and we'll get you in here for an interview. That's what I meant to say. Ty, thank you so much for the compliment. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching to the end. I'll see you in one of these two videos over here. Take care and go be super.